Another interesting tool in Color 3D that I want to explain is seam taping. It's uh, the seam taping. You have to go to select uh, edit pattern, and it's uh, give to the outlines of your pattern, not internal line. And it's create a tape over that, and <clears throat> uh, you can select your widths and give a different physical properties to that segment or pattern outline. For better understanding that, I create a, a line fabric here and go into here, pin box and pin there and there with click and drag. And after that, simulate it. I want a heavy and long uh, simulation. Okay. In preferences, go into simulation properties. I set the gravity to zero. It's my negative uh, nine eight double zero <coughs> for regular gravity. And as you can see, we have a fabric here. Okay. I want a very uh, softer fabric for doing that. I'm going to, this is on cotton. It's very harder. Going to the fabric, double click. And I choose a seal, I think. It is more, yep. Mm, we can drag in here. And as you can see, we have the seal here. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, change the height of that. And I want to draw another pattern here like this and swing this long pattern to this. Swing this to the this part and something like this. I want to give a seam taping to the this line to see the changes. Okay. As you can see, we have a bad facet polygon here because of you have to uh, change the particle distance of the all the patterns here going uh, select the patterns and find the particle distance and make it for example 10 and as you can see change the pins but for and drawing because it changed the polygon of your pattern for deleting pins you have to hit ctrl w and then Another click and drag to pin this part and another simulation. And you can make it. Okay. It's not important. I want to uh, give a seam taping here to, um, as you can see, we have a curve here. Okay. Okay. The, the seam taping is here. When you go into the um, uh, edit pattern and select the uh, selected line here uh, in its properties, up, uh, I explained before elastic and below that we have a seam taping. The tool is here, you can select it, just click on it, seam taping, or, sorry, or Go into the edit pattern, select the line that you want it. Sorry, select the line and in settings, you can activate seam taping also here. But if you draw an internal line here, for example, you have an internal line here. If you select an internal line, as you can see, we have no seam taping tools because the seam taping just also give to the outline of your pattern not internal line so we can delete it i use the tool select it seam taping and click here as you can see it uh, simulate a tape here 
And also in its settings, the seam taping is turned on. You can turn it on or use the tool. And here you can define the widths of that taping. And look at the simulation, what happened here. As you can see, here we have a tape that you can, it's very interesting. You can change the widths here, as you can see, you can change the widths of taping. And also, an interesting part here, you can define a separate, uh, different uh, preset for that uh, or custom uh, preset of the fabric here. It's a very uh, small fabric uh, preset here, but as I said before, we have uh, lots of detail here that you can define that uh, preset. That if we have a time, I will uh, explain them. Okay, but here you can change the preset of that um, physical properties of this taping. For example, you have a, a cotton or silk. This is a silk uh, <clears throat> pa pattern or fabric here, but you can give a different properties or different fabric properties to the, this taping. Okay, turn on the simulation and change the uh, physical properties of this. As you can see, it's changing. Or you can go to the detail and stretch width and warp. You can change it to see the changing of that. Okay. So. This is a scene taping. You can turn it off or on. It's very easy. Um, for example, I want to add a scene taping uh, here. Click it. As you can see, we have a scene taping here. If we simulate, we have a better uh, connection because uh, it's created taping between this uh, connection. And you can... Uh, sp uh, and in the scene taping, for example, in the swing part, you can define a different physical properties with that details. As you can see, if you select the line in the details, if you have a knowledge to all of these uh, complex details, you can uh, simply change the properties of this uh, part. As you can see, a little changing there. Or, for example, the bending waft and warp of the fabric. You can simulate a different. You can, for example, change density, as you can see. We have more dense fabric here and we have more curve. It's heavier. Okay. As you can see, we change these properties with the density. Interesting uh okay that's very easy as you can see you can select it uh, sync taping tool or for example uh you want to give a better quality of this part of the color you can select it for example sync taping or go into the here and select this part and turn the sync taping sitting here or if it's hard to selecting for you in all of its settings, you can use the tool. Simply click the tool and boom. As you can see in this part, we have this. If you want to give it to the both side, you have to select both side of seam taping also here. Okay, that's seam taping. It's very useful for outlines not internal line and you can give a different physical properties to the uh, this width of segments it's actually it's it's looks like that's suing uh, another additional uh, part of the fabric to your swimming part swimming parts hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release